Good evening and thanks for joining us here on 23 ABC News at 11 p.m. I'm Veronica Morley. The special election for the 20th Congressional District is underway. Polls closing earlier tonight at 8 p.m. Now the process of counting votes has begun. This election, separate from the presidential primary, will decide who will replace former Congressman Kevin McCarthy, whose term would have ended next January had he not resigned. Here's a look at the unofficial results so far. Here in Kern County, with 85% of precincts reporting so far, Vince Fong is in the lead with more than 25,700 votes and 54% of the vote. Behind him is Marissa Wood with 10,841 votes and roughly 23% of the vote. Now following is in third in or er, following in third is Mike Boudreau with more than 7,600 votes and 16% of the vote. Now numbers are a little different when it comes to the state. Fong is still in the lead here with 42,200 132 votes and 41% of the vote. Mike Boudreau is in second with 27,385 votes and 26% of the vote. Marissa Wood is in third with 24,257 votes and 23% of the vote. This is with 89% of precincts reporting statewide. And meanwhile, these results are still preliminary as ballots are continuing to be counted right now at the Kern County Elections Office. As you can see, it'll be a while before we have that final data, but three candidates have taken the early lead as we saw Vince Fong, Mike Boudreaux and Marissa Wood. I spoke with them about their campaigns and what these results could mean for them moving forward. Kern County all the way up to, the, to, to Fresno County and Tulare and Kings. We feed the world, we power the world, and so we need to have someone that can effectively advocate uh, for those critical industries. Another election night under wraps for candidates and voters of the 20th Congressional District, a race that has been marred by controversy ever since former Congressman Kevin McCarthy announced he'd be vacating his seat early. At the end of the day, the voters get to choose, and so we're 100% confident that the, the court will rule in our favor as they have already. Secretary of State Shirley Weber attempting to appeal a court's ruling allowing Assemblyman Vince Fong to run for Congress in the primary election even though he'd already filed for re-election for the 32nd Assembly District. While the Secretary of State is waiting for a ruling on that appeal, Fong's opponents aren't hedging their bets. I don't think you need to establish the precedent that you can run for as many offices as you choose. You know, he made his argument to the court and they agreed and so we have to move forward with the fact that it, at least how I see it is that he'll be a candidate on the ticket. Tulare County Sheriff and fellow Republican Mike Boudreaux said he's ready to make his name known throughout all of Kern. We have family there. We visit there. We go to the Condor Games. We go to the ice rink. We, you know, we visit there. We go to the Calm. As far as preliminary results from the March 5th primary, as of Tuesday, Fong led with 42% of the vote. Boudreaux in second with 24% and Wood in third with 21%. Wood, having faced off against McCarthy in a previous election, saw an increase in votes this time around. That says something to me about what's been missing in this district. What's been missing in politics, actually, at large. Should Fong and Boudreaux both move forward, they say they're ready for a Republican run. I think we need a strong and secure border and we need to have phases in recognizing who leaves first. I believe that Kern County should be one of the most prosperous counties in the nation with the amount of oil. Someone that will get our fiscal house in order, someone that will defend our water and energy resources. And when, when all the voters evaluated uh, all the candidates, uh, they've concluded that I'm the most qualified candidate to represent our valley. Now, if no candidates in the special election come out with at least 50 plus 1% of the vote, a runoff will be held in May.